Yeah, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are going to be mounting a solar panel up on top of this little Vauxhall Vivaro that I'm currently converting into a nice little camper van you have to excuse any beeping in the background as a house alarm has been going off all morning so I can't really wait any longer to start the video but it is what it is now as you can see inside I've already been carpeting all of the ply panels I've got a new headlining all made ready to go up onto the roof as well it's all insulated throughout but obviously I can't get all of this in place and I can't get all the metal work fully carpeted until I've got the cables from the solar panel run through the roof and down behind one of the panels and obviously that all needs doing before I put these panels secured back in the final resting place so to speak so what we're going to be doing is getting up on top of the roof giving the roof a really really good clean down because I don't know when the last time this roof will have been washed and given the clean up I'm also going to have to remove this roof rack as well I was thinking of possibly mounting it on top of the roof rack but it's almost pointless because then you wouldn't be able to use the roof rack and if I left the roof rack in place and put the panel beneath it again if you put anything on top of the rack it would then leave the panel completely useless because any shade or shadow going onto a solar panel basically knocks the entire panel off completely so instead as I say I'm going to be getting up I'm going to be removing this entire rack I don't really have any use for it I don't have any roof boxes or anything like that so I'll probably put this on Facebook marketplace just to try and sell that and recoup some of the money then once this is fully off and as I say I've given all of the roof a good clean down I'm going to be mounting this 250 watt solar panel onto the roof and that's going to get wired up to a Victron MPPT solar controller which will then get wired down to the AGM leisure battery something I've done plenty of times before in the past as well so any of the bits that I'm going to be using from the solar panel to the controller to the battery anything like that including all the cabling wiring check the link below, uh, below the video in the description that'll be going out to eBay where I've pretty much bought all of the items so let's get cracked down let's get some safety gear out and tools out as I say let's get this roof rack completely removed give the roof a good good scrub down because obviously this is the last chance the roof would have to get a good clean before the panels mounted in place because the size of the panel it's actually going to take up a lot of the roof space but again once it's on it's going to be mounted relatively low to the roof so anybody looking at the van from a curbside hopefully shouldn't be able to see it so it should keep the van looking relatively stealthy still so as I say let's get cracked on, let's get this roof rack completely removed, get the roof fully washed down then we'll be able to get the mounting brackets mounted onto the panel, get the panel up, get some holes drilled through the roof to get the uh, brackets fully secured in place and at the end of this video we should have a fully mounted 250 watt solar panel with an example connection going down to the solar controller that then gets connected to the battery. So let's get cracked on and as I say within the next 10 minutes or so we'll have a fully mounted up solar panel fully wired up. So let's get cracked on. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Right, so there we go there's the roof rack fully come uh, fully removed and the roof fully washed and it's probably the cleanest it's ever been in pretty god knows how many years now but that's come up really really nice again there's no signs of any rust on the roof or anything like that so as I say, it's really really good condition van this one from the looks of it bodywork wise rust wise corrosion wise there's very very little all the way around and some of the vans i've done previously the roofs have just been uh, really really troublesome rust wise as you can see here it's nice and clean there's no rust there's no corrosion or anything like that so now all that's fully washed down i can now get the brackets mounted onto the solar, pa uh, solar panel these are the z brackets that i've always used i've never had any problems or issues with these and these are a permanent bolt fixture rather than sticking them down with some of the other solar uh, mounting systems 
I've never really liked the idea of just sticking it onto the roof. I'd rather have a mechanical bolt going all the way through it just to be sure that it's definitely not going to be going anywhere. And so these type of brackets, they'll be linked below in the description of the video. So if you're after these or the panels, anything like that, have a look below and uh, that'll go out to eBay where I've bought all of these. So I'm going to get in these mounted onto the sides. So just mount like that and the bolt through the bottom, through into the bottom of the panel itself. And then it gives two mounting holes to mount it onto the roof itself. So we'll get these brackets connected up onto the panel, then we'll get the panel up onto the roof, and then we'll get that drilled in place. So let's get these mounted on. Right, so there's the panel fully mounted on the roof now and all of the mounting brackets and uh, nuts and bolts are fully watertight as well. Underneath the Z brackets I've had sealant between the roof and the bracket and then in between the bolt with the washer and the bracket itself and then on top of the bolt again it's all been smothered through and tidied up with uh, Sikaflex sealant and Sikaflex is basically caravan motorhome grade adhesive and sealant that is basically used in the trade. So that's all the way around on all four corners. So there's definitely no chance of any of these mounting points leaking through. So the last thing to do, mounting wise, is to get a little junction box mounted through and then that will allow the cables to poke through the roof and be able to be connected up on additional wiring on the inside. So we're just gonna be drilling one bigger hole for, the, uh, for that grommet. And it's probably gonna sit round about here as well, just so the cables can then pretty much slide straight down behind this panel. So we're going to be drilling one big hole for the grommet for the cables to pass through as well as a couple of mounting uh, screw holes as well and then we'll get all the cables fed through this junction box poked through and then mounting wise on the top that'll be all complete and then there's just a little bit of wiring to do on the inside but it's coming along nicely and i'm quite happy and pleased with how it's uh, progressing so as i say let's get this junction box mounted on and get the cables fed through
Right, so there we go guys, that is the solar panel now fully mounted and all wired in. As you can see, I've got all the cabling connected up to a Victron Bluetooth MPPT solar controller. And because it's Bluetooth, it gives readouts on the Victron app. And as you can see here, the panel's currently generating about 18 to 20 watts, but that's unsurprising because, as you can see, the battery is currently 14.4 volts, so the battery's pretty much fully charged. And if you also have a look at the weather at the moment, the sun's actually behind my house, behind a load of cloud. So the solar panel that's on the roof there, it's not in full sun or any direct sunlight at the moment. As I say, it's currently behind my house, so it's currently full shaded. But it is still working, as I say, it is still generating anyway. But as I say, there's not a massive amount of power that it needs to generate with the battery already being over 14 volts as it is. But that's how it's all fully mounted on the roof itself. I've got the cables fed through with this IP65 waterproof junction box that goes through, through the insulation there and it runs across into this channel where there's original cabling that goes across to the light over there. So I've got the cabling fed down this pillar, going all the way down the bottom, and the cables are just coming out here. Now obviously because I don't have any cabinets built or anything like that, I can't get the cabling or the battery or the controller in its final resting position, so to speak. But that's just going to be a case of securing it in place when I have actually got all the cabinets built and in place anyway. But installation wise, there's not really anything else left to do other than, as I say, screw that to a cupboard and tidy up the cabling once it's all in place. But getting it all connected up, getting it all mounted onto the van itself, things like that, it's all done now. So as you say, the solar panel is fully mounted. It's a 250 watt solar panel as well. So that's going to be having the potential to generate a lot of power during the, sun, uh, during the summer. And it should be able to generate plenty of power to run what's going to be inside this van, which is going to be a relatively low power van anyway. It's going to have a 12 volt compressor fridge. Other than that, as I say, it's just going to be LED lights, things like that. But that's how I fitted a 250 watt solar panel onto this van, connected up to a Victron Smart Solar Bluetooth solar controller, and then that's going off to a deep cycle AGM battery that's going to be going in the van as well. If you're after any of the bits that are fitted in this video, whether that's the solar panel, the solar controller, any of the proper official solar cabling, anything like that, Check beneath the video in the description, there'll be links going out to eBay where I bought pretty much all of the items that I'm going to be putting into this van. Some people like to use Amazon online, I'm a per personally I've been an eBay person for over a decade so that's where I get the vast majority of my supplies. So if you're after any of the bits, check below, below the video in the description, there'll be links going out to eBay for the solar controller, for the battery, for cabling, for the solar panel and the brackets, things like that. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, consider giving it a good old thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Because as we go along, week by week, we're going to be converting this Vauxhall Vivaro into a lovely little stealthy camper van. So hopefully I'll see you on next week's video. And as I say, give the video a good old thumbs up. Hit the subscribe if you're new. And hopefully we'll see you as we follow along with this camper van conversion. Thanks for watching. Cheers.